Bag of behaviors again, a bag full of behaviors. Let's see what behavior we're going to talk about today. Um, today is agitation. We talked about aggression and agitation yesterday. It's similar things. Um, aggression, though, is a, I would say, the difference between agitation and aggression. Aggression is the physical or verbal manifestation of agitation. Um, agitation can be internal agitation, it can be external agitation, um, and it is just the, you know, the, I want to go home, I want to go home, I want to go home, that's a type of agitation. Um, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, um, you know, kind of thing is agitation. Um, you know, just being, being um, at a higher level of just, you know, just, you know how that, my daddy called it the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> And I know that's not a clinical term, but my daddy would call it the heebie-jeebies of just feeling like you're just coming out of your skin and you're just, you know, you're just, you're just, ugh, just, ugh, that kind of feeling. Um, and, it, and it comes from just a misunderstanding of the environment again. You know, just somebody is too tired. They're too hot. They're too, um, they're too confused. They're, you know, the, it, the environment is too noisy. Um, the environment is too quiet and they, they need some sensory input. All of those things can cause agitation. Um, and agitation can very easily lead to aggression. So if you notice that somebody is getting agitated, you know, do the pick them. Do, you know, pain, infection, constipation, environment, med change. Environment is one that you can look at right away. Too hot, too tired, too hungry too full, too, ti too tired, I said too tired, um, too noisy, not noisy enough, too crowded, not, not enough stimulation. You know, all of those things can cause agitation and those all fall under environment. You know, a UTI can cause any of this. I've got a whole video on the pick em. Um, But anyway, that's agitation. Um, agitation can also be um, from sadness. And if, you know, if they are, profoundly sad about maybe being put in a nursing home or put in an assisted living or you know having seen family and then now the family you know is gone for the day sometimes staff deals with agitation after a big visit because everybody's gone and they don't quite know where everybody went but they know they're not here anymore and they just don't know how to deal with those feelings and so agitation comes in that way too again you're dealing with the feelings behind the behavior um, you know, we would talk about family. What did y'all talk about? Um, how was that ice cream? Um, you know, um, tell me how many children do you have? What are their ages? You know, it doesn't matter if they get the answers right. It's just the fact that you're getting them talking about something um, to calm them down. So that's agitation. All right. We got one more this week, and I'll do the video next. Love y'all. Bye.